on what they expected. Like we got a lot of like you guys face it, you guys are like a death metal grindcore band. Uh, you're probably if you're the biggest band of the genre are gonna do fifteen thousand records. You gotta face facts like don't be you know because I mean we were really passionate about our stuff so a lot of times like we'd end up getting a little bit mouthy about like you know why can't you come up with this? Why can't you bend the rules with this? And the deals kinda like were what they were. And Metal Blade was just like no we're gonna shoot for the stars and I mean uh, I think like just recently we we had, like sound scan like forty thousand. So for for the band, you know, for being told like repeatedly by different labels maybe four or five years ago, like you know, if you're the biggest band of the genre, you're gonna do fifteen thousand. You know, you've done forty. Yep. I mean, that's just like in the U.S. So, I mean, it's definitely pretty. I mean, not to toot our own horn, but it's I think it definitely exceeded people's expectations. And uh, I mean, I'm stoked. I, I really think that that's Metal Blade just kind of shooting for the stars. Cool. Who do you want to see play tonight? Metal Blade fans. All together. <laughs> Architect. They just played. Yeah. <laughs> missed it. Well, I mean, I, I'm biased because I've run black market activities and we have a bunch of our bands playing tonight. Animosity, who I guess actually appeared yesterday as well. Yep. Uh, Gaza. Who else? I'm gonna uh, Black bands. Dahlia. Black Dahlia. I'm stoked for those guys. They're not on my label, I'm just um, The network. The network, oh, yeah. yes, they're they're actually two thirty main stage. So uh, we've I mean, seen us with those guys a bunch of course. And I'm, I'm trying to say I'm, I'm gonna forget, like I'm just totally drawing a blank on uh, what other bands I'm gonna feel like a total ass because. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, check out Animosity and all them. But otherwise, yeah, I'm I'm just stoked. We just started playing with Cannibal yesterday, so technically I don't have to see him today because I just saw him yesterday. But I'll probably watch him anyways. Um, now, actually, uh, yeah, job for Cowboys watching by. I guess I'll check those guys out. Um, yeah, all right. No, they, they, they were brutal. Wasn't they? Definitely was quite surprised with how good they were. And um, actually, if, if you're going to be up past 1 a.m., there's the uh, Supergroup fiasco, yep. which our band, I guess, is part of. Cool. Greg and Mike from my band, Gunface, they're doing the Super Supergroup cover band. You probably know about as much as I do about yeah. it. Greg's do, I know Greg's doing a Slayer cover. I think that's really why everyone's here today, is to see Greg make a fool of himself. Greg's got quite the voice. Um, <laughs> yeah. it actually, that, that started, um, Dan Fitzgerald from Metal Blade was telling me that they were trying to do, um, they were trying to coordinate whatever, uh, I guess, uh, Tim, uh, not Tim, uh, Jordan from Azalea Dying was playing drums on it, and Joey Vera from Anthrax and whatever, Arm and Saint, like, was gonna play guitar the whole time, and then like they were gonna rotate musicians. So uh, Gunface and I think Ken Susie from Unearth were gonna do one song, but the whole thing was they wanted like singers and screamers. Now, if you look at Metal Blade's roster at the moment, there's a, a lack of singers and there's more just screamers across the board. Yep. So in talking to Dan Fitz, who's the vice president of Metal Blade, I was like, you know, Greg from my band, he's our bass player, doesn't sing, but like he, he rocks a mean karaoke. And um, I was like, yeah, man, the guy can do all the high pitch hair metal vocals and all that. So I'm like, let's, let's, he's just like, yeah, let's make it happen. Yeah, give me Greg's email. And just, you know, now he's like showing King Diamond songs and stuff. So I have no idea what to expect. He's definitely past my bedtime. But uh, 1 a.m., I think they're hitting the stage. But if, uh, if you're sober enough to stand, I'd recommend checking it out. You guys are going on tour with Through the Eyes of the Dead coming up? Uh, in June, yes. Talk about that. That, we're pretty excited. Uh, that will be his first U.S. tour with us. Are yep. you excited for it? Uh, a little bit. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, yeah I'm really excited, actually. Uh, it's Red Chord Headlining, which is our first headlining tour in years. Our first proper headlining tour. We've done little you know, DFWs here and there for like a day or two. Yep. Um, kind of excited because it's us, uh, Through the Eyes of the Dead's main support, Despised Icon, All Shall Perish, and see you next Tuesday. It's pretty stacked up, Bill. Actually, the first three dates, um, which one of them's around here, is with Genghis Tron as well. Yeah. So I'm, I'm excited about that one. I love Genghis Tron. Yeah, those guys are great. Now, are you excited to see uh, Through the Eyes of the Dead with uh, the new singer? I am uh, quite excited about that. Um, I, I gotta say, no, no offense to the old singer Through the Eyes of the Dead, but Nate is one of the best vocalists, I think. Oh, out there, motherfucker! <laughs> and, um,. <laughs> Yeah, New Hampshire represent over here. So, um, yeah, but Nate's got like one of the most monstrous voice, and I think like him teaming up through the eyes of the dead, like I, I'm scared to play after him straight up. It's gonna be, it's 
it's going to be ridiculous. Like I went from being the heavy guy on the tour to now I'm, uh, I'm not the heavy guy. Like I have to follow up Nate every night. Yeah, but you've worked with Nate before, so. Yeah, I know. It's frightening. <laughs> I, and I worked with Nate from uh, when he was in Deadwater Drowning and Premonitions of War and stuff like that. And the dude just, the sounds that come out of that guy are just so unbelievable and inhuman. Uh, I mean, I, I really wish I could do that stuff. So, this is your guys' time to add anything to the interview, say anything, tell the fans anything. Uh, <laughs> keep it warm. I'm really excited to have him in the band because we went from looking like a bunch of. Yeah, the, the wool shirt. Uh, we went from looking like a bunch of like guys in our late twenties with you know, uh, smelly guys with beards and stuff like that. Now the demographic has shifted, and we have a seventeen-year-old in the band. Yeah, that's right. So I'm we turning now, seventeen next. next week. We can now pass ourselves off as being a young hip band again. So <coughs> fingers crossed, it'll work. Add us on MySpace, straight up. Cool. Thanks for your time. Thank you.